we welcome you to this new Arabic course. Inshallah, this course will benefit you a lot. It will enable you to understand Quran directly, Inshallah. Each lesson is like a brick. We make one brick. So we study one lesson, we put a brick. We study second lesson, we put a second brick. And slowly, slowly we'll build our house. You know, brick by brick, lesson by lesson. Each lesson will show you something. The noun is either definite or indefinite. Sahih brothers and sisters, either it is definite or indefinite. What do we do in English when it is indefinite noun? How do we do, how do we describe it, brother? Ah, by using a or an. Are you with me? This, when it comes in front of a noun, makes it indefinite. Huh? How do you define it? Make it definite? D. Okay, brother. Now, in order to define an indefinite noun in Arabic, we do not have anything similar to this. But at the end of the noun, we put double vowel sign. Are you with me? We put double vowel sign. If, it is, if the noun ends with a dhamma, then we put two dhamma. If the noun ends with a fata, then we'll put two fatas. Huh? If the noun ends with a kasra, we put two kasras. This is called tanween. What is it called? Tanween. Huh? Tanween. Tanween tells us that the noun is indefinite. If I say kalamun, a pen. If I say baitun, a house. And then, how do I make it definite? We have to add al to the al to the noun. Huh? So I want to say, I want to say the pen. What will I do? Al kalamu. Huh? Now you see, as soon as I put al, like a magic, one vowel sign got dropped. Huh? Instead of bun, it became bu. Got the idea? But these are the basics. I know most of you already know. But I'm starting from the very beginning, in case there's a one student who's coming for the first time to learn Arabic, so that he gets some idea, inshallah. If I write down Al-Kalamun, that is wrong. Because Tanween and Al cannot coexist. One has to come and other has to go. Huh? So, if you say Al, then only one Dhamma. And then here comes al baitu. Okay, instead of baitun, it became al baitu, means the house. Is it clear, brothers and sisters? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Now we come to something which is always sometimes confusing to the students, but I will explain to you. And I'll keep on explaining you in every session. Whenever I get an opportunity, I'll be asking you questions and also repeating my, uh, you know, point so that if you have missed it out, you will inshallah remember. But then I said, Baitun, it is indefinite. How about if I write down Muhammadun? There is a tanween there, which always tells me that the noun is indefinite. But what about Muhammadun? 
Is it definite or indefinite? It is definite. Brother, how come? Tanween means indefinite. And now you say Muhammad is definite. Yes, you are right. Why? Because Muhammad is a proper noun. All proper nouns are definite. When you say Muhammad, it doesn't mean any Muhammad. It means one particular Muhammad. Hmm? If I say Ali, huh, brother, how do you write Ali? We always say Ali, but truly speaking, Ali Yun, brother. See Tanwin? No, Tanwin is normally the sign of uh, a, a noun which is indefinite. But in the case of proper nouns, uh, the tanwin doesn't make any difference. It means the noun is definite. Uh, the noun is definite. You will remember this, uh, please. Okay? And I will be repeating it again and again, inshallah. Brothers and sisters, now I come to a very important rule in Arabic. You know, and inshallah I will try to explain you in a nice way, brothers and sisters. Mm -hmm.